social protection refers to a broad range of programs or policies. Some countries feature a social protection system comprising several programs or policies. One way of categorizing these programs and policies is according to how the benefits are financed, meaning do citizens contribute financially in some way or not? Some social protection programs are non-contributory. They are financed through government taxation or through external aid, not by individual beneficiaries. Others are contributory benefits, where an individual benefiting from the program or someone on their behalf, that is, their employer or the state, makes a financial contribution on a regular basis so that they can access support when it is needed. Taxation may also be used. Broadly speaking, there are two categories of social protection program that are non-contributory. Social assistance comprises various interventions that transfer resources to, or otherwise provide economic support to, individuals and households, particularly those considered to be poor or vulnerable. Remember, this is without these beneficiaries paying any contribution. Terms such as social assistance and social safety nets are often used interchangeably to mean the same thing, that is, non-contributory regular and predictable assistance. Social care services are interventions providing social support rather than economic support or resource transfers. Examples are family support services, child protection services, alternative care for children and social work support to people with disabilities. In many developing countries, provision remains low. The category of social protection programme that is classed as contributory is social insurance. Social insurance comprises insurance programmes that are managed or supervised by government and funded by contributions paid by or on behalf of participants and through taxation. Programmes generally serve a defined population to protect against economic risk caused by a shock and participation is either compulsory or is subsidised by the state to allow eligible individuals to participate. They address risk of loss for an individual or household by effectively pooling risks. Examples include contributory state pensions for old age, national health insurance schemes and maternity pay. In low- and middle-income countries, these focus on those working in the formal sector, so they have low coverage especially of poor households. One category of social protection policy instruments cannot be categorised according to how benefits are financed. These are active labour market policies. This is because these policies are not ways of distributing assistance and therefore have no financing method. Active labour market policies are labour market measures that have been designed to protect existing jobs and stimulate employment. These measures may include policies that prevent exploitation and discrimination in the workplace, job search services or training. These tend to benefit those employed in the formal sector. These are the four main categories of social protection policies and programme. Social assistance or social safety nets, social care services, social insurance and active labour market policies. However, social assistance can be categorised further into four distinct types of programme or policy. In the next section, we will explore several examples of each category of social protection.